We are getting a 60 year old lady. She come to you with cough, dyspnea. She has amount of 10 uh, uh, colored fluid in the sputum. There are pulmonary infiltrate. That subsequently biopsies and they say they have shown columnar mucin secreting cells that fill the alveoli space without invading the stroma or the vessels. Most, it is best characterized by. So they, in this question, the examiner has given you a pathological finding and he expects you to diagnose that this type of histopathology is seen in which type of lung cancer. If you look into columnar, don't forget mucin secreting cells and alveolar space without invading the stroma or vessel. They are not invading anywhere. Answer is bronchoalveolar carcinoma. Now before I proceed further, I have a simple question for you. Write down the answer. What is, there is something very special about this. When the patient come to you, the patient come to you, you take a history. Okay, you take a history that something unique. What is that unique thing about bronchoalveolar carcinoma? In the history only when you are talking about. Quickly write down the answer. If you can think something. Well, the answer is this is a one type of malignant cancer which is not at all associated with smoking. Not at all, this of smoking, right? So, now, bronchoalveolar carcinoma is a subtype of lung adenocarcinoma. Okay? Again, a question for you. Write down the answer. What is the reason? What is so, or I can ask a direct question to you. What is the similarity between this cancer and the adenocarcinoma? Okay, and I give a clue to you that that answer is given in the question, what has been asked to you. I give a very beautiful clue. The answer is, it is also circuit mucin. Adenocarcinoma also circuit mucin. So that's why some authorities say that is a type of, type of variant of adenocarcinoma. Some other literature they keep as a separate entity also, but at least my question is very specific. Why it is a considered as a variant of adenocarcinoma? Because it also secretes, uh, secretes mucin. Look into this, that which I underlined also, mucin, secreting cell, okay? Well, we move further. Again, not related to smoking. This is again in adenocarcinoma also. Adenocarcinoma is more common in non-smoker. But this is not at all related to smoking. It is the only lung cancer which is not related to smoking. But not to forget, adenocarcinoma is again more common in non-smoker. Okay? But it can occur in smoker also. Right? Now, this tumor arises from alveolar epithelium. Point to be noted. So it, and this is located in the periphery of the lung. In fact, adenocarcinoma as such is located in the periphery. There's again one more resemblance of this tumor with the adenocarcinoma. Now, when we do microscopic examination, this is well differentiated. Consists of tall columnar cells. Tall columnar cell. They arise from clara cell. Oh, if you get clara cell in the exam, then 100% you are dealing with this BAC, clara cell. This is a golden line to remember, golden word to remember clara cell. And, but usually in the exam they talk about, with it, there is no evidence of invasion anywhere. It just line the alveolar epith epithelium, but doesn't invade, doesn't invade anywhere. So these are the two, uh, we have two classical things that you got to remember. Clara cell and they do not invade anywhere. You can see they are the Clara, okay. We are getting, we, uh, we can see uh, the epithelial lining is there. And they arise from the Clara cell found in the terminal bronchiole and the respiratory bronchiole. 
Now look into this. They are just confined to the just confined to the epithelial lining. They do not invade anywhere. The two classical thing about BSC. Now let's look into other option. Hematoma. It is a also known as pulmonary chondroma. It is the most common benign lung tumor. And it is usually asymptomatic. And it is usually diagnosed incidentally and the popcorn coin legion with popcorn calcification. If you get this word, popcorn calcification with coin legion, this is hematoma. Again, a golden word or golden line to remember. Popcorn calcification is hematoma. And if you do the histology, you can see highline ticker tissues, corrective tissue, all because it's a type of correct car, you can say it's a mixture of cartilage, corrected tissue, smooth muscle and the fat. But the key word to remember is, don't forget this word, popcorn calcification. Then adenocarcinoma, very important topic, is a malignant tumor, epithelial tumor with glandular differentiation is the one thing. 80% they contain mucin and mucin is produced by the tumor cell. Again, reminding you, this was the finding that we saw in BAC also, bronchoalveolar carcinoma also. That's why many authorities say the variant of adenocarcinoma. Now comes again the question from immunology, basic sciences. Which mutation is seen only in adenocarcinoma? Very, very important question from immunology point, basic sciences question. Which mutation? Well, the answer is KRAS mutation. They are seen primarily in adenocarcinoma only. Now, in lung cancer, we also have some cancer P53, RB and P16 mutation. But they can be seen in adenocarcinoma as well as squamous cell lung cancer also. So, this is again golden line to remember. KRAS seen in adenocarcinoma of the lung. Well, you can see gland formation, you can see, plus peripheral location of the adenocarcinoma. Just to remind you, even BAC was a peripheral location. Now, squamous cell lung cancer, let's relearn the pathology. It's composed of polyglobal cell with eosinophilic cytoplasm. The thing, they contain keratin pearls and intercellular bridges. Again, the golden line to remember. If remember, if you are getting Clara cell, you are dealing with BAC. Mucin is adenocarcinoma, and the keratin pearls and intracellular, intracellular bridge, you are dealing with squamous cell lung cancer. Classical keywords to remember for the histopathology. Well, you can see keratin pearls. You can see intercellular bridge and they are centrally located, point to be noted. In contrast, adenocarcinoma and BAC, they were peripheral located. Now regarding the bridge, I'll show you, yeah, this is a much better picture. Intercellular bridge, there's one cell, one cell in between, we have a bridge, you can very nicely see in this. I can even enlarge the picture for you for better visibility. So keratin pearl and intercellular bridge in the histopathology is squamous cell lung cancer. Small cell lung cancer pathology, they arise from primitive neuroendocrine Kluchki cells. Well, again, the golden line to remember. Kluchki cells are primitive neuroendocrine okay? uh, cells of the basal layer of bronchial epithelium. Remember this, this golden line to remember. So what I wanted to convey that for every option we got certain golden line. If you are getting this word, you are through with the question. So they have a secretory granules in the cytoplasm because they secrete a lot of uh, hormones also. And they also show neuroendocrine differentiation. This is again an important word to remember. Now this is the Kulichki cells. Okay, from where they arise. Now, immunology also, when we stain, 
we got certain neuroendocrine markers such as neurons specific analogs chromogranin and synaptopoiesin this you have to remember neuroendocrine markers and in this amplification of myc oncogene is common just to remind you in kras was there in case of uh, kras in adenocarcinoma then again we have something okay, common between squamous cell and adenocarcinoma now we have something different it is uh, myc oncogene this again important point uh, in the diagnosis so you can see just see the granularity of the lung tissue you can see lot of granules inside the lung cells so friends the entire histopathology basic sciences just squeeze in one slide only golden line to remember bronco alveolar carcinoma clara cell hematoma popcorn calcification adenocarcinoma glandular differentiation mucin production squamous and keratin pearl and intracellular bridges and small cell kulichki cells i think the best thing is whole thing summarize only in one uh, one slide the golden lines to remember and i'm sure subject now has become much easier for you well i hope you like the session just to inform you we have following courses for you smart medicine there are 350 hours of pre recorded video lecture of whole internal medicine it includes all super specialty and allied subject covering a to z including basic concept about every topic second we have tests and discussion there are more than 1000 question which with discussion of the questions sample question and discussion you saw in this session now third thing is medicine simplified which is a textbook of medicine harrison is the ultimate book to read medicine but it is too vast reading one page of harrison you need half an hour to understand you need two hours but you need only two minute to forget what was written in that page then what is the solution we have medicine simplified it's a textbook of medicine but so called mini harrison it's a summary of what you need to read from harrison the book is available in amazon also now these three things are more than enough for your md dnb medicine and family medicine final exam preparation need ss exam preparation you don't need to read any other book these three are complete in all the aspect for more detail you can contact at this number it's a mobile ad, as well as whatsapp and this is my personal email id anybody want to reach to me you can contact me at this email id thank you very much god bless you